We're just chilling here with the crows and the Launchpad Pro. As you may know from my tweets, the new version's coming out soon. It's got a lot of cool features I'll talk about next. I'm going to do a longer video to describe these features more fully, but I want to just get this launched and out to you guys, so I want to just do a quick summary of these new features. First of all, on the setup, we might move it to click later, but for now on setup, we have a system of tap tempo. So this stops it and this starts it. And I'll talk more about it yet, but it's a really interesting new way of doing tap tempo. And then once you have the temp tempo established, you can either slow it down or speed it up with these buttons. And then just turn it, hit that to turn it off if you want to stop transmitting. The next big huge feature that I've introduced in this version is right here, this red button. So last time I gave you Polyfork with the ability to send what you're playing to multiple MIDI channels and kind of manage that for you so you can play polyphonically on devices that aren't polyphonic. This next one right here will send you into Unifork method or mode. And so what Unifork does is kind of the opposite of Polyfork. It takes what you're playing, say on the keyboard piano mode, and sends it out to four channels exactly as a monosynth type line, like unison, monosynth, lead. It sends all of these notes the same out to channels one through four, or you can set it to just two, three, four, five, or even six channels getting all the same note information. It's kind of simplified, but what it does is it can make your Digitac into a very powerful monosynth. So say we just use two or three tracks with parameter locks and make a really thick beat just using up three or maybe even four tracks, then you have four tracks to work with samples or waves and build a super thick monosynth. It can be really cool. Soon I'd like to also talk about the Unifork and how it can be used on the iPad more because I haven't really explored for you how much this tool can be utilized on the iPad as well. You guys remember this feature as one of the really cutting edge features that basically this sends out different uh, sample slots to the Digitac so that you can um, use one track and change the sample on it. And so you can play from 1 to 64 of the sample slots on this and it really makes for a dynamic performance. Now the new feature that's kind of based on this but a whole nother beast is this one right here. So it's like the sample slot uh, chaos feature but as you can see these columns represent tracks one through eight. So each of them does the same type of thing but this will change from one to eight or sample slot one to eight on track one will change and this will be nine to sixteen and so what you can do is you have a drum beat playing hopefully utilizing all eight tracks and you can mess with all the samples as you're going and it uh, I'm gonna have to demo that for you because it just is amazing how you can mutate a beat into all sorts of things. Also some bug fixes. So these lights now stay on here instead of flashing off after you press them. Thanks to one of my patrons for pointing that out. I just got used to it and wasn't thinking about it anymore. And that also helps for this one so that you can change these lights. And then of course shift goes to the 9 through 16. So super handy. Hey, thanks so much for help making this reality. This is going to be really crazy and help the music. Uh, this is like making a new music device. You know, you've always got the keyboard, but imagine if I tried to reprogram that, you'd be like, what the heck is that? 
but the Launchpad is a great source for starting new music ideas because there, it's an open canvas for us to create new types of music expression. So please subscribe as a patron on Patreon, my account there, so that we can help build more features faster. And up next is going to be uh, the open source version of this. I'm going to help support the community in that way and also have more videos. I picked up a few new synths so I want to help share out uh, what I've learned there and uh, some music. So thanks a lot. Catch you next time.